Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. Oh, who are we? And oh, who are we? Approximately every second, one person is coming to know Jesus. Over a minute, that's 51 people becoming Christians. And every year, that works out to be 27 million new believers. When you see the bigger picture like this, you get a better feel that God is on the move. Even in places where people have little or no access to the gospel, God is revealing himself in miraculous ways. The efforts of people who are joining him in these places are bearing much fruit. said to Abram, Leave your country, your people, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you, and all the peoples on the earth will be blessed through you. God told me the biggest miracle when people have the opportunity to, to find my love. There is an estimated 2 billion people that have little or no opportunity to hear the gospel. They live in an area that many people refer to as the 1040 window. Wherever you go and whatever you do will be blessed. 80% of the world's poorest of the poor struggle here daily just to survive. Millions of people live under poverty. God said, these people they are so poor, but they will worship God. Your towns and your fields will be blessed. Your children and your crops will be blessed. Prostitution, child labor, civil war, oppression, AIDS, malnutrition, all affect the lives of people living here. If you see how many kids, how many young people that are suffering right now, and, and I'm glad that God called me for, for this generation. The offspring of your herds and your flocks will be blessed. The truth is that too many people are dying from completely preventable diseases. One day they will come to church and ask, Can you are God heal me? Can you are God forgive my sin? Your fruit baskets and your breadboards will be blessed. People in these areas are having to deal with unsafe water sources. You will experience all these blessings if you obey the Lord your God. 70% of the people living in the 1040 window are under the age of 35. I always believe that if we can just reach the young people today, you know, when they're still 15, 16, 17, in 10, 20 years when they become the CEOs, when they become the businessmen, the leaders, the, the politicians, the teachers, and uh, if they have the fear of the Lord, we can literally turn this nation upside down. Where the river flows, everything will live. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. The demand, the hunger is rising and we can see the fruit of prayer that paved the way for a tremendous move of the Holy Spirit in the area. And we feel uh, that uh, the heavens are opened 
about Egypt for the first time. Nobody heard about Christianity some years ago in Algeria. If we see now the number of Christians, I think that the Lord is doing amazing things. When I look at Thailand and what God is doing in the 1040 window especially, I'm just blown away by the fact that we need more missionaries. They're coming and saying, we want to know your God. Lots of Iranian people in Iran call this channel and they just, like a child, they want to give their heart to Jesus. Why is Jesus different from the Buddha? They really want to know Jesus. You hear this all the time, but the harvest is ready. Do you not say four more months and then the harvest? I tell you, open your eyes and look at the fields. They are ripe for the harvest.